This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, I think Mace had a great take. This is what I was talking about yesterday. Um, and I think a lot of people feel this way. If you're not, if you're in between on both artists, you like both of them. I like Kendrick and I like Drake, right? But the length that, Ke okay, so if, Ken if Kendrick had dropped this within a week or a week and a half, it would have more impact to me, you know, like, cause there are good lines in there. And I think both of these guys held back on their diss tracks because why would you give, why would you go out with everything right away? You know, cause like it's sometimes it's the last person who has a decent track that wins, you know? Um, now, now the, I don't think there's ever going to be a declared winner in this one because they're both really good. You know, Kendrick has deep you know meaning to most of his lines drake's more direct right so there's a difference between the two so like kendrick you're gonna have the you're gonna have the hip-hop nerds breaking it down for weeks like well he said this because if you had a cat that named this and the cat had a sip of coffee on a Tuesday at 9.32 p.m. And that's why at nine, you know, seconds in 32 seconds of a second, he said that, you know, it's like, you know, you're going to get your people that break it down. And, and that's good. I think that's healthy to have because that's the kind of audience that Kendrick has. You know, he has deeper meaning to his songs. And that's why he had the line in there that, you have music to pacify him. I have music to make him, you know, electrify him. And that makes sense. You know, the, the, there's a lot of truth within the song that is like a wait, you know, it's like, hey, hey, it's almost like a uh, Kendrick Lamar is almost like a uh, intervention for Drake. Like, hey, grow up, buddy. You know, you're still a boy. You're still the boy. You know, be a man, you know, stop uh, trying to appeal to this younger audience you're almost 40 you know and he's right you know that's why you know why do you have little yachty around to try to like have you appeal to the 20 year old you know the 20 year old there when really you know you grow up with your audience like like he is you know it, so there's a lot of truth but it didn't have the same impact because it took so long it shouldn't have taken kendrick three weeks it shouldn't take drake more than a week if it takes drake more than a week it's not going to have the best impact. I think Drake's going to drop this weekend because I think he knows there's one thing that Drake knows in a battle timing. The longer he waits, the more people sit with the Kendrick and don't move on to the next thing. You know, I saw someone write, um, someone write wrote about, uh, Kendrick. Kendrick is a corny pseudo intelligent midget. Even think think to say the quotes about Tupac and Drake has feminine hands, fake abs, and weird random tattoos, and walks with a fake Jafakian accent <laughs> when it's convenient. Calls uh, black people ignorant for using the same slang he uses now. Uh, when he was at a table full of white people, exactly. Remember that Drake clip where he's around a bunch of white people he's like oh that's ignorant when people talk like that you know he's highly adaptable instead of just being himself listen everybody has their flaws i have my flaws you have your flaws but uh listen i think this is a great start to the battle as uh charlamagne was said we have we have a battle now this is a battle you know they're engaging now round two i think is going to be they took their little pot shots at each other. They 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 got everything out of the way that everyone said in the past. You know, there were some regurgitated things on Kendrick's, some regurgitated things on Drake's about you know Kendrick. So you know, um, we'll see. Now, Rick Ross laughs off at Rick Ross and Gilly have their own problems. You know, um, I forget what it stems from. I think Rick Ross just made us a, a, a comment about Gilly. I, I can't remember exactly what it was. It's hard to keep all this stuff straight, but I remember Gilly making fun of Rick Ross for having cows, <laughs> something like that. Anyways, um, he laughed at Gilly for saying the Kendrick thing is corny. I don't think it's corny. I just think it's like, it took too long and it, it got a little, it, it didn't have to okay i thought it was too long six minutes um 
it could have been three. There's a lot that could have been trimmed out. Drake got right to the point. I did like that. Um, <laughs> Rick Ross says, oh, cupcake. You tried to see. I don't think Drake tried to do a season to sit on like that remix. How would he have done that? What's in there to do a season to assist? And I, he did a season to assist on French Montana. That's for sure. He didn't want that. He didn't want that splash splash brothers out. That's what it used to be called. He really and then Rick Ross says he really had his body altered. Nose remixed and abs added. <laughs> uh, so little Yachty was caught liking all these tweets about the Kendrick thing. He says, uh, like liking t tweets about talking about, uh, so who was raising your child while you were out cheating on your wife with white women? Whoa. Yeah, he was caught liking all these tweets. Y'all think his life is rap. I got a son to raise. Yeah. And then little Yachty also said, uh, you took too long, buddy. He did. Kendrick took too long. Charlemagne calls Kendrick Lamar's euphoria a psychological evaluation of Drake. It is. You know who I don't want to hear from at uh, the Breakfast Club? What's her name? Just with the mess? Come on. <laughs> it's just... That's how you know the Breakfast Club is over. Once you start having people leave and try to replace with someone else, the time is ticking. It's over. It's almost like when G-Unit got, got rid of some members and tried to replace them with others. And a lot of groups have done that. And, and it never really works, you know? It's just people aren't always welcome to the newest member unless they were... Uh, already there or became a member while the others were there and then used him and that's what they should have done before angela left they should have added a fourth member for about six months and then had her phase out anyways <clears throat> loving the uh all this conversation about these records is good and um it keeps the sport of hip-hop alive you know it's not as direct as it used to be 10 years ago but as as anything people things evolve you know like the culture evolves lyrics and battles and the way they're done evolve so yeah we'll see this is jordan tao with jt news let me know what you think we'll get to the takashi story next with uh steve will do it he really put takashi on blast which is needed you know because he's gotten away with too much you know not taking care of your daughter and taking care of somebody else's daughter is disgusting this is jordan tower with jt news peace